For years, China has quietly dominated the world's battery supply chain. If you've ever driven an electric vehicle, used a phone, or even flown on a modern airplane, chances are the battery inside came from a Chinese factory. More than 70% of the world's lithium-ion batteries are made there, and that gives China serious leverage in the global energy race. But that monopoly might finally be facing its first real threat. At the center of this shift is Tesla, and behind Tesla, the driving force of Elon Musk. He's never liked being dependent on other countries, especially when it comes to something as important as energy. And now, his company is on the verge of pulling off one of the most ambitious battery revolutions in modern history. It starts with something small. A battery cell. Cylindrical, no bigger than a can of soda. But inside that cell? A quiet revolution. Tesla calls it the 4680 Gen 2. It's more than just a new battery. It's the key to reshaping the entire electric vehicle industry. And it's about to power Tesla's next great leap the 2026 Model 2, a compact, affordable EV designed not just to compete, but to take over. To understand why this matters, we need to zoom out for a moment. The world is going electric. It's no longer a question of if, but when. Global demand for batteries is expected to skyrocket to over 150 terawatt hours by the year 2040. That's the amount of energy we'll need to electrify everything from cars and trucks to homes and factories. To meet that demand, someone has to build the batteries. Lots of them. And for the last decade, that someone has mostly been China. But Tesla isn't playing that game anymore. The company has already poured billions into battery production, and they're not stopping. In Nevada, Tesla is expanding its gigafactory to produce more batteries than ever before. In Texas, it's building its own cathode and lithium refining plants. The goal is clear. Take control of the entire battery supply chain, from raw materials to the final product, right here in America. That might sound like a typical business move, but it's much more than that. Elon Musk recently posted that it's essential, though extremely difficult, to localize supply chains to reduce geopolitical risk. That wasn't just a throwaway comment. It was a warning shot. Tesla doesn't want to be caught off guard if global tensions rise or trade restrictions tighten. They want full control. And the 4680 Gen 2 battery is the linchpin. So what makes this battery so special? First, let's talk performance. The 4680 format refers to the battery's size, 46 mm wide, 80 mm tall. But it's what's inside that counts. These new cells are built with a redesigned architecture. No taps. That means less internal resistance, faster charging, and better heat management. In simple terms, it's a battery that works harder and lasts longer. And then there's the chemistry. On the anode side, Tesla has moved away from traditional graphite and started using a silicon-based design. Silicon can store 10 times more lithium than graphite, and that means more energy in the same space. But silicon is volatile. It expands and contracts with every charge cycle. Tesla's solution? A special binder and nanostructured silicon that allows for expansion without damaging the battery. On the cathode side, Tesla is shifting to a high nickel, cobalt free composition. That's a big deal. Cobalt is expensive and often mined in regions with poor labor conditions. Moving away from it is both cheaper and more ethical. The result of these changes is a battery that's up to 50% more energy dense than its predecessor. That means longer range, smaller battery packs, and less weight in the vehicle. And with thermal resistance improved by around 30%, it's also much safer under stress. That brings us to another major breakthrough, charging speed. The Gen 2 battery can charge from 0 to 80% in just 15 minutes. That's nearly on par with filling up a gas tank. For many drivers, this eliminates one of the last major objections to switching to electric. Durability is another big win. Early tests suggest these cells could last over 1.2 million miles. For most people, that's more than the life of their car. Imagine never needing a battery replacement for the entire time you own your vehicle. And while all of that is impressive, the biggest impact might come from cost. Because Tesla is now controlling the entire battery production pipeline. Mining, refining, manufacturing, they're eliminating the middlemen. That allows them to cut costs in ways no other automaker can. 
Internal estimates suggest that Gen 2 batteries could lower battery production costs by 30 to 40 percent, and that, in turn, makes the Model 2 possible. Tesla's upcoming compact EV isn't just another car. It's a mission. It's designed to bring electric driving to the masses. The target price? Between $10,000 and $15,000. That's not a typo. Of course, it won't be loaded with luxury features. But it will have what matters most, range, reliability, safety, and access to Tesla's supercharger network. And it will be powered by the Gen 2 battery, built entirely in-house. Here's where the story gets even more interesting. Back in 2023, Tesla relied heavily on Chinese suppliers for critical battery components, lithium, graphite, anode coatings, and more. Fast forward to 2026, and that's changed dramatically. Lithium is being refined in Nevada. Cathodes are being made in Texas. Anodes and coatings are produced entirely within the U.S. Every piece of the puzzle is coming together under Tesla's control. No more overseas shipping. No more delays. Just raw materials being turned into batteries, and batteries into cars, without ever leaving the country. This level of vertical integration is something other automakers can only dream about. And it's giving Tesla a major head start. The United States government is also pushing hard for domestic production. Legislation like the Beautiful Builds Act is expected to reward EVs made entirely in the U.S. with full tax credits, up to $7,500 per vehicle. If a car includes parts from foreign countries like China, those incentives disappear. Tesla is already positioned to take full advantage of those credits. Most competitors are not. So what does this mean for the industry? It means Tesla might soon be the only company producing high-performance EVs at scale, at a low cost, while meeting all domestic requirements. That's a serious competitive edge. It also sends a message to the rest of the world. The future of energy doesn't belong to any one country. It belongs to those who can build, adapt, and innovate faster than anyone else. China's battery dominance won't disappear overnight. But with each new battery cell that rolls off Tesla's American production lines, that grip loosens just a little more. And for Elon Musk, that's not just business, it's strategy. By building batteries in America, Tesla is helping ensure that the future of energy remains in American hands. It's a bold move. A risky one. But if it works, it could reshape everything. So the next time you hear someone talk about batteries and EVs, remember this. The war for the electric future isn't just about speed or range. It's about independence. It's about control. And it's being fought, quietly but relentlessly, cell by cell. Tesla just might win.